Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, recording uh, your um, camera EVF real-time tracking. Um, before, uh, in order for you to do that, um, you will have to buy an external recorder, for example, like the Blackmagic or the Atomos uh, Ninja. Uh, would cost five hundred to almost a thousand dollars. But with that kind of money, you will be able to. Um, uh, have a really good 4k and 8k quality however for uh, someone that does not want to spend that much of money um, you can basically using this method and then you can um, recording whatever that your camera see um, so this is a two-step process uh, first you will need to enable the screen recorder uh, from your cam your uh, cell phone um, I only have iPhone so I don't know how um, the Android version work um, so first uh, you would need to go in and enable your uh, screen recording uh, that will be under control and um, it will be something like this called screen recording now if you don't already have it in your home screen um, it will be somewhere down here and then you just click the plus it will edit it to your home screen as I already have it here so this is step number one you will need to have it uh, added in and where to access that that will be this little last button right here on the bottom right here so you will hit on that and whatever that going on on your phone uh, it will be recording so that's step number one okay and the step number two is to connect your camera to the Sony image edge mobile um, if you don't have it yet go ahead and download it is free um, so right here I already have all of my previous camera uh, connected to my phone um, there will be I think there's another way easier to do connection to it uh, but this is the only way that I know uh, if anybody else know a better way please let me know um, so the fastest way for me to, to do the re power remote on my a phone and the camera I just transfer one picture over so right here I already have one picture taken and I hit the send button and I send it and I start it from here and I join and it will make connection and it will transfer the picture over and by doing that um, it's established the communication uh, this is what I, I wanted the remote shooting uh, so if anybody know a better way, a faster way to connect the app for remote shooting to the camera, uh, please let me know. So I click on that and as you can see that is what you see here is what you can see from your camera. I mean uh, this is where you can go even go ahead and do the focus on it and then you can even take a picture of it and it will save. So this is the same thing that you've been doing uh, already so this is nothing new for you guys. Okay, so that right there. Now, I want to go back out to my screen recording and I'm going to hit on that. And as you can see right there, it, boom, it start recording right now. And so, and then I just go back to here. And it's going to from right here, I can just go ahead and do whatever that. And you can see my focus point move up and down. And let's see there. And boom, boom, boom. Go up, go down. So, for example, that. Okay. Now, when you're done with this, and what you do is you go back out to your app, and that will be on your phone, and you will have something is already in here, and that recorded for you. And that is pretty much it. So you have to go here. Uh, stop recording then there you go so your stop right here and, and you can see boom whatever your camera see earlier it is in your phone right now and you can go ahead and upload this to your social media or whatever that you want to do with it all right have fun